and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh from Faris Petra Science Secondary School. Today, we are going to show you the main problem or issue that Malaysia currently facing. A recent global trend is to use natural renewable energy and renewable resources that are beneficial in developing new materials. Thus, thermoplastic is being prepared to combine with various reinforcing fillers in order to improve material properties and obtain the characteristic demanded in actual application. Studies are ongoing to find ways to use fruit waste as another alternative synthetic fibers as reinforcing fillers. These waste yet natural fillers are especially being sought since the production of composites using waste substance reinforcing fillers is cheap and able to minimize the environmental pollution caused by the biodegradable characteristic. Utilization of fruit waste such as long side, watermelon, banana, mango, corn cob, and leaf as reinforcing fillers in polycaprolactone offered several benefits including making the final product light, strong, low cost, improve biodegradability and all absorption and reduces from easily rip off. Plastic and polystyrene, which are derived from petroleum as raw material, have many disadvantages such as high energy usage due to the production process, long time to degrade and can cause environmental issues. Furthermore, about half a kilogram wet weight food waste are generated every week at school dining hall with 20 to 25 percent from orange and banana peel. So, our main objective is to develop an innovative approach of exploiting the use of waste as organic pillar for the production of green products. As a solution to the problem, this project was designed to produce biodegradable plastics with fruit waste, which are particularly orange and banana pills that mix with polycaprolactone or PCL. Then it is to determine the physical and chemical properties of the bio composites to get and identify the best potential of fruit waste to be used as a fillers in the polycaprolactone PCL, as there are only certain type of the fruit waste have a good potential to be used as a filler. In order to commercialize this product, we need to evaluate its commercial potential first to achieve its objective and then we are going to find the best potential of fruit waste by comparing the tensile, strength and oil absorption properties. So how did we make these biodegradable plastics? In order to make these biodegradable plastics, we need to make a few preparations. The materials and apparatus needed for this project are PCL and fruit waste. As for the preparation of fruit waste, particularly banana and orange peels, first of all, we need to collect the fruit waste from the school dining hall. Next, we weight the fruit waste collected, then proceed with drying process in order to obtain their dry weight. Make sure to dry 3 over 4 of water contents of the fruit waste. After the drying process, blend the dried fruit waste until they turn into powdered form which can be stored. As for the preparation of molded material, the dried fruit waste and PCL are weighed together and then the PCL will melt at 80, 80 degrees Celsius in 10 minutes. After that, the melt PCL will mold with the dried fruit waste at a designated ratio of 3 is to 1 and they will, they will compress and can be transformed into various shapes. As for the quality test, we conducted three tests which are all absorption tests, tensile tests and biodegradability tests. Results for each fruit waste and PCL composites were compared and evaluated. Thus, the results outcome showed the properties of each type of fruit waste in all absorption, elasticity and strength. Based on the results and the graph shown, banana showed the highest percent of all absorbed with the highest all absorption property which is 0.63 plus minus 0.05 as compared to others due to larger size and amount of parts existed. 
Next, based on the graph, Orange Pills displays the excellent mechanical and flexibility characteristics. It showed a higher performance in terms of tensile stress, which is 11.32 plus minus 0.14 due to arrangement of its structure, which are more compact and less wide. Then, from the graph shown, we can observe that Orange Pills results also higher in elastic properties, which is 30.71% as compared to others. Why? This is because the texture of fibers which is more spongy and attached closely to the PCL. Moreover, all the results showed the potential fruit waste can be used as the best reinforcing fillers in producing the biodegradable plastic with the highest rate of biodegradability. Hence, orange and banana pills are the best candidates to be employed as a fillers compared to other fruit waste which are papaya, watermelon, mango, and langsai. Can this product be commercialized? Absolutely, yes. This product become a potential income for fruit-based production industries as the fruit waste such as pills and seeds can recreate this new biodegradable plastics. Next, the mechanical and physical chemical properties of the product are potentially improved to provide a better final product. Thirdly, this product has the same capabilities as well as the well-known plastics, so this will give the product a new platform to dominate the world plastics market. Furthermore, this product is a low-cost product with high biodegradable ability with zero residues and toxics. Far, this product also become the main choice for the green consumer such as the environmentalist and eco-friendly people. Fifth, the lightweight of final product make this innovation a profitable commercial product besides can produce in high mass quantity. Lastly, it can also be used in a variety of ways from daily use plastics based items such as kitchen utensils to technological products that use plastics in their components such as foam. In conclusion, biodegradable plastic is the best solution to overcome the worldwide problem by saving the world ecosystem with decreasing the amount of plastic waste that were used by ourselves. Also, utilizing of fruit waste for biodegradable plastic is an effective way to save the world from plastic products. Local fruits have the potential to be as fillers in PTL compared to domestic fruits.